Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Last week, astronomers led by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO in the US, and the Virgo collaboration in Europe hinted at a massive discovery they will announce well today that will send shock waves through the scientific community as well as the universe, literally. Well, I guess not so much a shock wave, but more of a gravitational wave. And yes, this announcement is huge and is 130 million years in the making. According to astronomers, a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. There, there was no Star Wars, but there was two ultra-dense neutron stars that collided with each other, sending gamma rays through space and basically ripping the fabric of our universe. And on August 17th of this year, the waves finally reached Earth. Now, a little background. If you don't know, gravitational waves are, like I mentioned, basically ripples in the fabric of space-time, and it's caused by some very large or violent event, such as black holes colliding. And gravitational waves was something predicted by Albert Einstein all the way back in 1916 in his general theory of relativity. At the time, Einstein showed through math that massive objects orbiting each other like black holes would disrupt space-time so much that waves of distorted space would flow out from the source. Just like if you threw a rock in a body of still water, there would be water ripples. But in this case, the ripples are traveling through space at the speed of light. And of course, the larger the object, the larger the wave and easier it is to detect. Now, for a long time, many scientists didn't even believe that gravitational waves existed because, well, it's it's super hard to detect because they are so tiny. Let me try to explain how tiny they are. I mean, think about this. When gravitational waves hit Earth, it's gonna stretch the space around Earth. But it's so insignificant that if there was, let's say, a 621,000 mile long ruler, and when a gravitational wave hits, it's gonna stretch the ruler by only the length of an atom. Because of this, even Einstein thought that we would never be able to detect gravitational waves. But this time, for the first time ever, scientists have spotted both gravitational waves and light coming from the same cosmic event, which was, like I mentioned, the collision of two neutron stars. And this is really exciting because gravitational waves also carries with it insights in regards to its origin. So this will allow researchers to understand more about the cosmos and the universe as a whole. Now, what's also remarkable was that this distant collision created a kilonova, which is essentially a super bright explosion that happens when two neutron stars merge into a binary system. And this was something researchers had never Ever seen before and it was the first cosmic event ever to have been witnessed by both traditional and optical telescopes and this detection took thousands of researchers working in more than 70 labs and telescopes on every single continent. Now this wasn't the first time gravitational waves were detected. I actually did a video about this in 2016 when researchers successfully detected the first direct evidence of gravitational waves using the laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory and I'll link that video in my description box below. Anyway this new detection was considered transformative by astronomers all around the world. And according to Julie, an astrophysicist at NASA who took part in this discovery, she said the era of gravitational wave astrophysics had done, but now it's come of age. We're able to combine dramatically different ways of viewing the universe, and I think our level of understanding is going to leap forward as a result. One last thing that's really exciting for me and maybe a lot of you is that now that we have detected another set of gravitational waves, it could provide researchers more clues to find other dimensions because physicists have been trying to figure out for a while why gravity is so weak compared to the other fundamental forces. And there are theories, including string theory, that says it's because some of it is leaking into other dimensions. And gravitational waves could be the key to unlocking this mystery. So who knows? Maybe Bruce Lee is still alive somewhere. Anyway, guys, really exciting announcement, and I'm, for one, very excited to see what comes out of it. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.